All right, you guys. All right, let's do that. Cheers. Again. The door. <laughs> the door. Blows off the <laughs> Wait, completely off? Yes. It was yes. a ball. Cilantro. Fill the pan with whiskey? Yes. yes. What, what, what? Hey, everybody. Welcome to the show. As always, this is a show about failure. It's about screw ups. It's about the tenacity that it takes to start and run a business. Tonight, we're going to be talking to Radiator Whiskey. It's a local place here in Seattle, Pike Place Market, and they are all about meat and whiskey. That's what I know at this point. But as always, our resident bartender, mixologist, Mr. Jack Sanders. Jack, what do we got? Uh, I've got a cocktail called the Unruly Revival. It's a fall riff off of the old fashioned Woodenville Applewood finish, 100 proof bourbon, um, apple brandy from Clear Creek, muscovado syrup infused with bay leaf, vanilla infused aromatic bitters, and black lemon bitters with tobacco. Hey everybody, welcome to the show. Our guest tonight, Lloyd Hounsel and Sarah Rosales. They're from Radiator Whiskey. But it's, um, Let's do this. what are we gonna do? Just, just cheers? Is that it? Cilantro. Yeah, cilantro! <laughs> All right. Okay, first off, the name of the place. Uh, I know you have a couple places, but yes. the one, uh, Ra Radiator Whiskey. Um, so in my mind, I think this has something to do with prohibition. Um, it does. Does it really? Look at you. I'm so smart. You're really smart. <laughs> Don't tell me about no, it. Exactly right. So when, <clears throat> when we were trying to come up with a name, we don't know where to name this place. And you know, you hit Google, and we know we <clears throat> we didn't want it to be a speakeasy type of thing. Yeah. But we wanted it to be kind of a throwback to prohibition. Um, so just you know, doing web searches of prohibition type stuff, <laughs> we found people made spirits in their radiators to hide it from the cops. Th that so, seems crazy so to me. It was termed a radiator whiskey. We're like, done, <laughs> done, done. So no what are what are you what are you hiding from the cops? We're hiding nothing. You're hiding nothing. So I had a friend uh, that told me one of his favorite things about radiator whiskey is that he could eat a pig head or something. There is that something that, you that have to hide correct. from the. You can eat a pig head. I don't think you have to hide it from the cops. I hope not. I hope not. <laughs> I don't know. Yes, that is one of our one of the things we're known for is yeah. our half a pig's head because it's quite the thing when it shows up on your table and the pig is looking at you. No. Oh. Um, so it's half it's it's half the head. It'll feed three or four people, and it's just a and it's smoked. So, it's and the, the teeth are still in there, and the whole nine yards. Oh, oh yeah. Oh wait. So and then people want to come and see the pig head oh, and yeah. have it come to the table. It's yeah. It's and people on neighboring tables are like, "What's that?" All the time. And, and then they yeah. go to order it, and you're yeah. like, "I'm I'm sorry. You order There's only advance. four pig heads yes, tonight. You got to order that's, that's absolutely true. Wait, yep. is it really that it's just limited the number oh, yeah. of pig heads? Yeah. There's only we only have one smoker. We're a small place, <laughs> so as many as that smoker will fit is as many as we can do, and we yeah. sell out almost every night. So now, had you, had you done other restaurants or other types of things before this? I had not. No. No. So, what's, I was, so uh, what's your background? So I worked at the Boeing Company for about 20, <laughs> just just shy of 20 years. Of course you did. Uh, why not? I'm in Seattle. You're in Seattle, exactly. right? So yeah. yeah, I did that for almost 20 years and then uh, had the opportunity to do the restaurant. Yeah. And uh, with a business partner who owns another restaurant called yeah. Matt's in the Market, which is an yeah. unbelievable place. Like also, it was like also <clears throat> was, uh, uh, was your partner at Boeing as well? No. Or did, had he, done was, uh, he was a fish thrower down in the market for no. years. Oh, really? With the face of the One market. Of the original. Yeah, he was kind of the guy. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And as a guy, I've known him since I think the seventh grade. Oh, wow. So we grew up in the same neighborhood, known him forever. And he threw fish forever down there. Yeah. And then he took over a restaurant called Matt's in the Market in Pike Place Market yeah, as well. Yeah, Pike Place as well. And then when the space for radiator came available, he's like, dude, I'm like, I'm in. So, so, wait, so <clears throat> you gave up, how long were you at Boeing? 20 years. 20 years, yeah. I'm gonna go start a restaurant with pig, like pig's head pig's and whiskey and, <laughs> yeah. like, why? <laughs> <sighs> That's a good question. I think that my wife still asks that yeah, question. Yeah, I wanna know <laughs> that yeah. too. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> well, I think after, Boeing was great for the first 18 and a half years. Yeah. I still liked all the people I worked with. It was a fantastic place, but I don't know if you've ever seen the Boeing plants. It was these yeah, massive yeah. buildings, and you sit in the middle of them with artificial light for 10 hours a day with no windows. I mean, yeah. there's no windows. You get no natural light for going on 20 years. It's, yeah. uh, you know, it's uh, no matter what you do, you, you know, they ask you to cut 10%, and you do, and they're like, yeah. why didn't you cut 12? I'm like, oh, God. <laughs> you get the so, twitch. Exactly. It's yeah. Like, uh, 
So why the restaurant? Is it because of your friend that you knew for a long time? He called you up? Uh, kind of. When he, when he took over his first restaurant, he asked my wife and I to join him on that. And he'd never run a restaurant. We'd never run a restaurant. You know, it's a lot of money, a big commitment. And we're like, we're going to pass this time. Yeah. Even though I was like, I'm all in by my wife's life. <laughs> no. <laughs> you but, don't know yeah, what I'm talking like. sense. And she was right. She was 100% right. But uh, I'm like, hey, if you ever want to do this again, yeah. you know, hit us up. And about four or five years later, I think it was, the space came available for Radiator Whiskey. And yeah. I'm like, we're in. So where did, where did the two of you meet? Was it in doing this and setting this up? Him and I? Yeah. Yeah, <clears throat> absolutely. Yes. Yeah. Sarah was the diamond in the rough find at the Holiday Inn. It's right. Yes. What? Oh, yeah. Yeah. Downtown Seattle. Yeah. Yeah. What, wait, what were you doing at the <clears throat> Holiday Inn? Well, so I was at UW when I very first started bartending at the Holiday Inn. Okay. Uh, never bartended before in my life. I'd done a lot of restaurant jobs. I'd been in the industry. Yeah. All, you know, all through my 20s and whatever. But uh, learned how to bartend at the Holiday Inn. Made horrible drinks for the first two to three years that I bartended or however long and then started to get into the craft and, and started doing tons of research and then sitting in front of bartenders at bars like yeah. the zigzag and whatnot and had a little kit that I used to keep underneath the bar so in case anybody wanted to come in and get a real cocktail I would be like oh yeah here here wait, I've got some chartreuse wait, right here the, let me <laughs> at the yeah oh yeah oh, I love this so yeah. much and I had a I had a double sided cocktail menu one of um, one side of it was just like le lemon drop style cocktails and the other side was like nice and craft cocktails and yeah. um, Dan Buggy had caught wind of me, mm -hmm. came in, didn't tell me who he was. Now Dan was the He's our business, partner. He's business, our business partner. partner. Business partner, yeah. yeah. Uh, ordered a Manhattan, sat, sat and chatted with me and then ordered a, a bartender's special you yeah, know, yeah just yeah, said yeah. make me whatever you want and then he said so i'm starting this new restaurant what yeah so that's how it happened so wait, he picked you up at a holiday inn yeah oh, to yeah. start the new restaurant yes. <laughs> <together>. <laughs> yeah. at a holiday inn <laughs> you're on board with mm -hmm. like from the very beginning yeah yeah so yeah even before well, they I, opened the doors before we opened the doors oh yeah yeah yeah, yeah. I, I went in there and if you, was... if you go in and the shelves on the back bar i built those things you before built the we shelves? yeah i tore were, our four original apart. employees were sarah tyler charlie and, and evan. evan and yeah. sarah tyler and charlie are still with us yeah mm -hmm. i could tell by the way you said evan <laughs> <laughs> and <laughs> like you're and, like, like, and evan, evan. evan. Like, yeah. and evan. you guys <laughs> don't get on the ground <laughs> Now, Evan's wonderful. We yes, have a picture Evan. of him on the wall. We do. <laughs> with, with angel wings, God actually. Yeah. <laughs> yes, angel wings coming in. Absolutely. All right, so Radiator Whiskey. Okay, what sort of like fuck ups, what sort of mistakes have happened at Radiator? Wait, wait, uh, wait, wait. You get to tell me. Yes. Yes. So I think one of the, this was one of my early, er, this was fairly early going in, and I come in. We open at four, and I come in around five o'clock, and there was this calm around this, everyone, the whole staff. <laughs> Everybody's just quiet. Something, was, was, something was wrong. <laughs> <laughs> something was wrong. <laughs> Your spidey like, sense is kicking on. on. Everyone was just kind of. Usually you walk in, and it's everyone's kind of upbeat, and just kind of <laughs> something was wrong. And I'm like, and I turned to, and I'm like, what's going on? And she's like, oh. So we were looking. You were trying to. S smoke? Our our smoker gun broke. Our smoker gun broke. Okay. Jack has up there. Yep. <clears throat> so someone oh, had the great man. idea to in a, nah. put in a, a, a pan. In the smoker. In the, in smoker. the smoker. Wait, wait. Shut the door. Turn it on. Uh, we were open for business, by the way. Full, <laughs> restaurant's full. Wait, wait. What did you put in the pan? Whiskey. Whiskey. Because I, oh, so sorry. <clears throat> wait, wait. We oh, have so a whiskey smoke, in a pan. We have a smoked maple old fashioned yes. on our menu. On our menu. Okay, okay, okay. Very popular. Our smoker right. gun you broke. Need to, you need to smoke. And let me just, let me just preface don't, this by don't. saying that we had a server who worked at a different restaurant. I won't name any names, but he said, why don't you just use the smoker? We have, we do it all the time at my other restaurant. Uh, no, absolutely. <laughs> wait, wait, wait. It's the smoker for the pig. Yes. Yes. And, and the, and, and the other <clears throat> things that we smoke so, at radio. Okay. Filled, filled, yeah. a, filled a pan with whiskey, put it in the smoker, close the door. It was about five o'clock. Five o'clock. Wait, 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 wait. Fill filled the pan with whiskey? Yes. yes. And then put it into the smoker. Yes. Shut the door. Oh, this is going to be amazing. Oh, Full yeah. restaurant. It's real good. Was it 20 minutes later? About that, yeah. The door, the door, <laughs> the door blows off the smoker. <laughs> Boom! In the middle of explosion. In the middle of service. In the middle of service. <laughs> the be the best part of that though was the entire <clears throat> restaurant 
jumped up and ran out. Yeah. Oh, no. But where the smoker is located, we have the smoker right here, and there's bar seating right here. So, right in front of the smoker. So, like, where this table is, okay. and this is where the bar is. There was two guys at the bar. This is my who favorite just, part of this. Who just thought that we were putting on a show for them. Yeah. Yeah. The restaurant they, empties, they're like, They thought awesome. it was hilarious. They were just like, this is the best thing I've seen. I can't believe it. I'm so a, glad I came to this restaurant. In the middle of a the, packed restaurant. The door flew off the hinges. <laughs> yeah. Blew the door off. Wait, completely off? Yes. yes. Completely. It was yes. a bomb. Wait, yeah. so. <laughs> not kidding. How like how heavy is the door? Is it oh, like it's a, heavy. Like we had to get a, door we had to get a whole it's new probably door for it. This wide and five feet high. Yeah, it's really? a metal. It's metal full. Just yeah. completely comes off the hinges. Uh, yeah. It happens when you put a you can of whiskey like a, in a smoker. This is like it's like a cartoon. And oh. then uh, whiskey shot out everywhere, and it was all flaming. <laughs> Oh, because it's all like, it's on fire. It's like flaming alcohol into the restaurant. And these two guys at the bar just sitting there laughing it up. Thank they they like, loved awesome. it. All right, so if you guys had um, like one piece of advice for somebody that's starting their own thing, they're completely scared. Honestly, I think I'm even asking for myself. Um, they're terrified of like starting something and putting it together. What what would you what would you tell them? Uh, you mean as a business owner? Yeah, as a business owner, or even <clears throat> like for you, you took the leap into something like that was unknown. It was the very beginning. It of was something it new, was unknown right? for me. But what I would say for people who are, especially in the industry, I I can't yeah. speak for anything else except for restaurant owners. Do not think that you can be a home cook and then start a restaurant. Mm. That's it. I mean, you have to have experience. You have to know how a restaurant works. You have to have years in this industry. You can't just say, wow, I know how to cook, or I, I'm, I like to make drinks. I'm, yeah. I'm just going to go start a restaurant yeah. because you will not survive. It so if, is I a, guess if you want to, then go get a job in a restaurant. And you have to do it for a long time. Right, sure. just to figure yeah, it out, right, and how time. it's going to work, right? Yep. Absolutely. Yeah. And yep. In that same vein, it's hire people. Mm -hmm. That know how to cook, yeah. Know how to make that great how drinks. And... Who know how to manage the restaurant and yeah. provide exceptional service. Like have a team, <clears throat> like uh, like actual people that know better than you do. Yeah, sure. On what you're putting together mm -hmm. and make that happen. Like you don't have to do everything. No, no, and you no, shouldn't. Don't yeah. even try. Yeah, yeah, and you shouldn't, especially if you don't have the to experience the to do it, because yeah. you won't. It won't work. Yeah, awesome. You just funny. don't know what does and what doesn't. Yeah. One of my college professors, economics professors. I remember the, one of the one things he said and the number. Like opening day, first day of class, talking about going out and starting your careers and this and that. And the number one thing he said is, "Don't open a bar." Don't open yeah. a bar. <laughs> and he's That's right, it. you know, because because <laughs> I don't know what it is. The statistics are ninety yeah. percent. I think of them restaurants fail. it more than anything <clears throat> else because at least liquor doesn't go bad. True, oh, I got you. But yeah. food does. I got you. Yeah, I got you. Yeah. I got you. Uh, I got you. No, we've been blessed. We've been, we're, yes, we're, it's, it's been great. Awesome. Well, Lloyd, um, Sarah, thank you so much yes. for being on the thank show. Thank you. Thanks for having the drinks. Of course. All the yeah. way through, like, uh, Nostrovia. Yeah. Nostrovia. Yeah. There we go, right on. <laughs> Cheers. There you go. Thanks again. Thank Absolutely. you. Hey, everybody, this episode is brought to you by GoDaddy, who, if you didn't know, is on a mission to empower everyday entrepreneurs all over the world. They've got all the tools and services to make you successful and even better, there are thousands of GoDaddy guides all over the world, some near you, that will talk to you, that will have a back and forth with you to figure out what you can do to be better. So if you have taken the leap and you think you can inspire other people with your story, we'd love to hear it. And hey, hope to see you on the show.